Hey guys, I know it's um been a while again since our last We're video. We're so sorry again and again and yeah. again. Yeah, but um. You have to get on news every time. Yeah, uh, I should. Oh, I forgot I have to turn the volume thing. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna do that right now. Um. Anyways, we are back <coughs> with another um album review. This time we will be doing folklore. By Taylor Swift. Um, Weston, do your thing. Yep. <sighs> Hold on, wait. Uh, Folklore was released in 2020. It has 16 songs. It takes an hour and three minutes to complete. I've not done this bit in a while, so I kind of forgot how it goes. <laughs> but I think that's it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, usually you say what like genre of music this is, you know? <clears throat> You know, it was released uh, by Nirvana sorry. in 1994. It was not released by Nirvana in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong album, Jet. 53 minutes is 55 seconds. Okay, why are you on a Nirvana album right now, Jet? Yeah. <laughs> I was too lazy to go to Folklore album. Uh, is you looking up? Uh, Bro, it's alt pop. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's alt pop. <laughs> It's alternative pop. Yep, this album is all pop. Uh, it's definitely go. folk pop, but okay then. Folk pop? Folk pop. Okay, yes. you're just saying that because it's called folklore, though. No, it's... No, nah, I agree. I just, there's also, some folk notes in here. The album has 17 right? songs if you count the deluxe, like, edition. Okay, and I don't... That one. Okay, the one on my screen has 16 songs, so that's yeah, why I we didn't Yeah, we didn't listen to the deluxe. Because it's bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. We didn't oh, yeah, listen speaking to Speaking of, uh, this is my sister Addie. She's going to be joining us for this episode. Addie, Hi. introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Addie. Yeah, that's yeah. my sister. What do you like, Addie? Um, I like Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my god. Personality. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is our um, our guest for this episode because yeah. she really likes this album. So yes. I'm sure, she's gonna help us review it and um, talk the about the Taylor album Swift, and get through it. The only Taylor Swift fan alive. That's not yep. true. The this... only one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's true. We picked her up off the streets. I'd say she's like the biggest one. I don't know about the only one, but you know, yeah. Um. All right. With all that said, how we rank our albums? I'm gonna I'm gonna start explaining how we do stuff now. How we rank our albums if we give it's number wise, but we we um have three ranks for each number: light, decent, and strong. And um, we go through one song at a time. We give every song on the album a ranking, and then at the end of the review, we give the entire album our thought. We we say our thoughts on the entire album. Okay. You know, Jet. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd be a person that hasn't done this before, but. We give, at the end, we give all of our thoughts on the entire album, and we rank the entire album with our ranking style. So, yeah. And then we give our, our favorite song on the album and our worst song, or like our least favorite. On the That's album. how we do it? Exactly. Thank you for finally explaining it to me. I didn't know how to do it. Yeah, of course. We're explaining it for like my always. sister, who has not done this before. And um, <clears throat> with that said, like and subscribe right now, or I'll do unspeakable acts. And let's get to the first song. <clears throat> Very mysterious. The right. one. The two. The, one. <laughs> the two. The two. <laughs> the two. <laughs> Let me play it real quick. If it would load. Alright. Okay. Alright. Do you want to talk about it? Um, well, basically, this album is, it's based off of a, a love triangle. And it's like a storytelling album. There's I was right. I told you, Jen. You I was right. right. I was right. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's three characters: Betty, James, and Augustine. So Betty and James were together, but then James cheated on Betty with Augustine over the summer. Oh. And there's three songs that are from each of the perspectives. Uh, is Cardigan one of them? Yeah, Cardigan. I knew it. Okay. It is really smart. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. All right. Um. My thoughts on the the two. <clears throat> I thought it was a great introduction to this album. I when I listened to this song, I 
knew immediately this was going to be a very lyrical heavy album and i was right it was very lyrical heavy <coughs> um and the piano was great um yeah i don't know yeah what, what i will say is taylor's just good at singing <laughs> yeah she has good vocals <laughs> That's that. Her bridges are always really good too. Yeah. Such a joy, Yang. Uh, Let's just keep going. Up. Oh my finger! What you do? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah. No, I like the the production on the songs is really good. Like I, I don't know what to add. It was like. You guys kind of said everything. <laughs> what I will say, she's pretty good at harmonizing. The whole harmony thing. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's what you're not good at doing with your normal voice. Okay, you know. Listen. <laughs> listen, you're bad at bass. <gasps> oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. No! I'm better. Okay. I don't even play bass. My but. ears every time you play guitar in a call. I don't care. My, my ears bleed every time you play bass. Alright, I'm back a Lugan. Alright. Yeah, we're we just insulting each other. I was, uh, I was me, me and my son making fun of each other. Yeah. <coughs> on what? What do you mean on what? On your mama, what? Like what? Okay. <laughs> like what? Whatever. Um, did we already give our scores on V2? No, no. We're okay. waiting for you because we're such good friends, Sandy. Thank, Thank you. I gave it a light 8. I gave it a light 7. I gave it a strong 8. I gave it a decent 8. Uh, valid, valid. Alright, Cardigan. Kind the of band that I like. like. What? The band. The love for I love that song. Yeah. Love, love. I don't know what band. Oh my about. god, you're so know. lame, Tanner. I'm lame for not knowing this band? Yeah. Yes. Whatever. Okay, I'll play card again. You listen to Brockhampton, stop talking. Brockhampton's goaded. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what did I write down for a card again? Um, I thought the sounds were pretty basic, but they still lined up really good with her singing, and her singing is always great. So, like, I don't know what else, like, her singing is never bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I gave Cardigan a decent seven. I gave it another light seven. Damn, okay. Weston? Give it a... What? <laughs> Weston? I don't know, I do. Jed, what's your rating on Cardigan? How do you rate again? Can you explain it again, please? Bro. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, we rate number-wise, right? Yeah. Okay, d I'm not actually doing this for you, Jet. <laughs> keep going, What's keep going, your, keep... no, I'm not actually doing this for you. What's your ranking on this song, Jet? A light eight, Jacob Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm actually surprised you guys rated it lower than the one. I think, like, lyrically, it's better. So. <laughs> That's fair, but I, st I think it was just because the one was like the first song in the album so it just introduced me and i was just like hooked in and then it was like i don't know i think i just i still like the the one better than the cardigan the okay. one to the three to the three to the four i gave cardigan a strong nine so wow, <laughs> wow. I, love it. I feel like it's really relatable and i think the storytelling in it's really good because you come to find like james <laughs> And like apologize to Betty. Dude, I'm like so smart. Like I knew, I knew Cardigan was like, I had a feeling Cardigan was like about a person. And then I'm very proud we'll, of you for picking that we'll, we'll get we'll get to the song later. But Jet, me and Jet were listening to it, and I like, I'm just so smart. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Tanner, Tanner can also recite his ABCs. <laughs> no way, Tanner, can you count to twenty? <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Um, yeah. Seven. No, Come on. I don't want to. I'm not that smart, okay? <laughs> uh, 
the last great American dynasty. Yes, this is the America. longest title on this album and the, the next song. Which was the Qin Dynasty during, uh... Alright, let's let Jet go off. No, 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 go off on the history lesson, Jet. Let's hear it. <laughs> America was not Chinese then or now. Wait, what did I say? I s I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know who he is. Alright, um. <coughs> what did I write? Um. Addy, do you have anything to explain about the song? or? Yeah, okay. So basically, um, this. Taylor Swift bought Rebecca Harkinson's house, and she was. Whoa. That's who the song is about, Rebecca. And she bought the house in like 2013, I think. Um. Yeah, she says it on the bridge. Oh, okay, okay. That's kind of all you need to know. That's fair. Um, yeah, I like I'd this like, song. I gave I'd it I'd like a... to speak tenor, but, you know, you're very okay. rude. What do you want to say? I like the instrumental. Good job, Chet. <laughs> I, can also count, I can count to 100. Uh, um, I gave this song a strong 7. Really? Strong 7? Mm -hmm. What did you give it, Weston Max Morley? Oh, I also gave it a strong seven. I'm just acting surprised. Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> I'm the outlier here. I give it a strong eight. Damn. Okay. okay. I, feel... I give it a strong seven. Okay. What? You know what? Whatever. Whoa! You gave it a strong seven, Eddie? Yeah, it's not one of the best on the album, but it's it's not the one that I gave it like the point off. Oh. Okay, okay. Later on the album. Yo, Jet, you liked it more than. <laughs> I'm a yeah. Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> Jets, a Swift. Jets a Swifty now, okay. I'm a Swifty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I never oh, expected sure. this. I love Blank Space, bro. D no, honestly, I love fuck. I, I, uh, I love. <laughs> That's like actually goaded. I love every song of 1989, bro. Like, best Taylor song uh, album. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh yeah, um, I don't know if you know this, but he was like being really, like, really petty about the fact we were doing 1989 and we were doing Folklore instead. Yeah, because 1989 is their best pop album. But I think Folklore is her best album, in general. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Um, next song, Exile. Play it real quick. <laughs> Alright, um, I love Bonnie Vare, so that's points for me, for this song. I don't know who Bonnie Vare was, I didn't know you knew how do you not? Was. How do you not know Bonnie Vare, bro? Who's I don't Bonnie know, Vare? but I feel like I recognize them from, like, something else. Um, he has a really distinct voice, so you probably do. Yeah. Um, this was a really good duet singing from both of them. So, mm -hmm. I gave it a decent 8. I thought song was great. Ooh, that rhyme. <laughs> I was really proud of himself for making it rock. Damn that! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Like... I gave it I gave it a decent eight. Yeah, that song is great. Uh, Taylor Swift on my plate. Yo, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right. I'm disbanding this podcast. What'd you say? I'm disbanding this podcast. Oh, we, need to, we need to we need to rate the Tanner album. We need to rate the Tanner album. <laughs> I don't have an album, Jet. Tanner, yeah. make an album. Right now. I don't. I'm not gonna make no, an album. Let's cancel the rest of this video just so you can make your album. I'm not yeah. making an album. I don't know how to make music. I don't know how to produce music. Don't know how to sing. What do you want from me? Uh, just do it. Make an album. <laughs> We already told you what. I'll make I'll make a visual album. How about that? It'll just be album covers. <laughs> okay. What'd you guys think about Exile? I gave it a light eight. I gave it a decent nine. I think it's one of the better ones on the album. On God. And her harmonies were really good. <clears throat> on God. I like the male voice. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <don't> say. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, like just say Eric... some dude. Just say Bonnie Vare. You like Bonnie Vare singing. I, I like the guy. I like the person with the XY chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, okay. All right. I love the male voice. I like the male voice. 
I'm a male. I'm a. <laughs> I'm a <hate. laughs> I ain't in them. Watch this end up being like Jet's favorite song because of Bonnie Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be no. fair. Bonnie Bear is great. I love Bonnie Bear. But anyways, um. No. Next I song. Know my favorite song. Wow, Tanner. Or no, it's gonna be like Jet's favorite song, and then it's gonna be like, we're just gonna be like, yeah, wow, Jet, you wow, like it? Yeah. One that has a guy in it. That's a. That's so misogynistic of you. Oh, that's not my favorite song. You're making me angry. <laughs> I don't have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Okay, don't have a mental breakdown. We're only like four songs in, okay? All right, fifth song. This is the moon all over again. Yeah. Or wait, no, the glow part two, the glow part two. I don't know why I call the moon. Well, that is a song oh, yeah. on that album. Yeah. I like we just kept making jokes about 9-11 on that. Okay. <laughs> just because that's the date that the album was made. It came out kept on that it. day. No, we all did. We all did. Don't blame me. Oh, it was mostly you. I was trying to avoid it. I was trying to avoid it. That was mostly you, Jet. That was the most fun I've ever had recording an album. Yeah. Oh. All right, my tears ricochet. The next song. Let me play it. Yeah. No, my tears are ricochet. I don't think that's how you say that word, Jet. Um. Yeah, I think it was a good song. I didn't write much. I don't know why. <coughs> I, there's like just some songs on this album that I didn't write that much for. Why are you guys coughing? Sorry. Like you both coughed at the same time. People in my house are sick, so I don't know what Jet's coughing. Me and Wes had a great makeup sesh. Okay. All right. <laughs> and did you have anything about to say about the song? Uh, well, I can just give like an explanation. It's kind of it's just about losing someone. And like in her long pond studio session, she said like it's about her losing a friend. <laughs> and this is track number five on the album, and all her track number fives are like the most emotional. Mm. Yeah, I give this one a ten. Wow, I didn't I think it. this was the most emotional on the album. Any mom wants me, so I'm gonna uh, you take over for me. Okay. Um, okay so Weston's opinion is on the album. Well, Weston only likes happy songs, so he probably rated this one low. <laughs> yeah. He probably gave it, I'm guessing he gave it like a strong seven. Or okay. like eight. <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. I think Weston rated it lower, because he's been rating really? these songs. He's been, he's been rating these songs like light sevens. Wow. Guys, I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I give it a light nine. I'm a Swifty. Whoa, I'm really? Swift. I'm a Swifty, yeah. I, I like the intro. Swifty heard at the end of the song there's like water dropping like in the background like the tears oh I that yeah was, uh, like a cool thing that's true yeah i like um, the uh i like the intro with the whatever that sound was i'm guessing <laughs> it's someone's voice yes. know it's, uh, it's it's out of tune in the beginning and then it gets in tune mm. um i give this one a decent yeah. seven wow Crazy. This song How is much so good. That's crazy. Yeah. Can't believe you uh, rated it so low. Decent How much seven's not low. Guys? It's still a good song. Okay. Jay, what you rate? <clears throat> oh, you rated it like nine. Yeah, I'm much swifty. You rated a ten, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, should we wait for Weston? For Mirror Ball. Um. No, you should move on. Alright. <laughs> I do not give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, mirror ball. Let me play it real quick. <clears throat> okay. Um, I love the echoing guitar strums in the back. I, I like, really like stuff like that. Um... um. Well, I, I can't speak because Tanner's going like you speak. Okay, keep going, Jen. Just go. <laughs> just go. I'm joking. No, go. I, I was pretty <clears throat> much done. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I, I like the guitar, and I like the echoing sound of it. Okay, that's it. So I'm you kidding. said the same thing as me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. Uh, what song are we on? Uh, Mirror Balls. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mirror Ball. Um, it reminded me of a song that I really like from uh, a album called... Uh, Tanner knows uh, what album it is. Wolf Feet, Four Seat Obstacles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It reminds me of that album. 
Oh, oh obstacles? Wait, didn't you show me that one, Jet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I... Okay, I kind of see it now. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Weston, what was your ranking on My Cheers Ricochet, by the way? Uh, my Cheers Ricochet? That was like a light seven. I, I told it. you! I Did told you! you. No, no, I said light seven. I said light seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's so good. Anyways. I said light seven. Alright, whatever. Um, I give Mirrorball a strong seven. Very strong seven. Very strong. I wrote flat seven for Mirrorball. I give it a strong nine. Really? <laughs> oh. Yes, I like this song. Eight. Eight. Jesus, I, I like a flat eight. Yeah. Uh, I know. Write yeah. your name. All right, now for the seventh song on the album, seven. How did I not notice that? Wait, Wait how do we not? <laughs> Neither of you noticed that. What? I did not. I, didn't I didn't know that. I, I did not notice that. I literally noticed. read it and and saw it immediately. I was like, oh, seven. <clears throat> Dude, this when I saw fine. this, when I saw this song. I just thought of the movie. <laughs> Wait, also August is the eighth month. Oh my god, year. that's so smart. What the heck? Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, hey, but actually children. I didn't actually children. I didn't I didn't notice that Did either you? first listen. Join the Taylor Swift fan club. I didn't notice that first listen. I'm part either. of the Taylor I'm a, I'm a Swifty. Alright, let's play Seth. Addy, are you proud to be Swifty with Jet? Um, I don't know about being a Swifty with Jet, but I'm proud to be a Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend $5,000 on that ticket now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, seven. Um, here's what I wrote for this song. Taylor Swift has such a strong imagination in this song. Jit thinks she's a pirate. Jit thinks she's a pirate. Jit Yang thinks she's a pirate. Um, but yeah, that's a good song, though. I like if Taylor Swift is a good song, and then he's like, it's like a 2.7. I did, it's, it's Okay. I don't do that. Um, do you have, like, anything to say for this song, Addy? Because I feel like it's about, like, I don't know, her wanting to, like, do things that are out of her reach or something like that. I'm just I guessing. Mean, you're, I don't know. Basically, it's just a song about nostalgia and, like, a childhood friend who was, like, abused by their dad and it's talking about like her and the friend trying to like escape so how's cool. the number seven relate to that there's one that's line where it's like i think your house is haunted your dad is always mad and that must be yeah. why that's basically yeah saying, oh, like, okay yeah i remember that line okay oh yeah that's, makes sense that's that song. the number seven <laughs> I gave seven a decent seven. <laughs> I gave it a strong seven. Now, it, I missed a very obvious joke by doing this one. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I did a strong six. Wow, okay. I'm actually a Taylor Swift fan. I give it a strong eight. Man, you guys both, both missed an opportunity there. No, I saw it and I was like, do I give an actual score or do I just say seven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, August. Let me play it real quick. Eight. I give it an eight. Wow, that was. Already? Yeah. Bro was just like, I'm gonna give this one. I want to say about August. Yeah, it's from Augustine's perspective, like yeah. with her affair with James. Ooh. So, like, she didn't know that just he was in a relationship juicy. with Betty, right? And so she just thought, like, she was the one for James, and then James just, like, stabbed him in the back. I was like, oh, no, I have a girlfriend. You were just, like, a summer thing, which she says in the song. Ooh. The tea's getting juicy. So That's this all saying. happened in August, so I'm basically, assuming. Basically, Augustine and Betty, like, are just innocent, and James is uh, a villain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Makes sense. I give this one a nine. You give it a what? A strong nine. Mm -hmm. um, Did you give it a ten or phone? I give it a decent eight. I thought this was definitely one of the better ones on this album. 
Question, what did you give it? You know, uh, obviously for the for the obvious joke, I gotta go with a light seven. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> you skipped the joke. You already missed it. You already missed it. You're up really fast. You got Amy Schumer over here. <laughs> Bro. Bro. <laughs> Never compare me to Amy Schumer. I give it a strong A. Mm. Um, I also really liked. I thought this. Pro, I thought the production on this song was like another step, uh, another level above the rest. Like I really liked the production. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know that I dated Taylor Swift? <laughs> they finally oh, yeah. got to the joke. What joke? I like Nothing. used to date Taylor Swift back in 2010. Like we used to date. I feel like I remember this. And you were like four or something, you know? That's not weird. No, I wasn't four. Like what? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. I just dated Taylor Swift when I, in 2010, you know? She actually made a song about me too. It's crazy. Yeah. Wasn't this the Billie Eilish thing? Billie Eilish? <laughs> no. No. No, no, there was something about Billie Eilish. Were you, were you in the film Jarhead? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was one, that was a good one, but not one, not one of my favorites. Yeah, she made a song about me. It's called All Too Well. You know? <laughs> that was like, that was actually pretty impressive. You like knew who she, that, cause that's about. <laughs> like John Hall. The Ted Knight version? Hey, I love... you're saying you're Hall. No. Wait, what? That's... Oh. I am Jake Zone Hall. Like that's my name. That's all Weston says. Wait, what? You all Weston, you always say you're either Ryan Gosling or Jake Dylan Hall. Okay, no, no you're not Ryan Gosling. you're you're not Jake Dylan Hall, Weston. I say I'm Ryan Gosling and that you're Jake Dylan Hall. I'm Norman I'm Norman Reedus. I'm Norman Reedus. <laughs> Je just Norman, Norman Reedus. But no yeah, I mean we're recording a Taylor we're um we're listening to a Taylor Swift album. I, I might as well just put this out there. Like we dated, <laughs> you know, it was cool. Uh three month relationship. Um well not long, but you know, it was still chill. <laughs> yeah. Eddie, what do you think of uh, Tanner aka Jake Jill Hall? <laughs> I hate Jake Jill Hall. What? <laughs> Have you listened to All Too Well? <clears throat> I'm gonna take that as a no. But... Of course I have. It's about me. <laughs> of course it's about me. I'm I'm a great person, Addy. Okay, like. No. <laughs> I feel like you have genuinely listened to it just so you can make this joke. It's a ten-minute-long song. Dude. Je why would I? I Weston, why would I not listen to a song that's about me? Like, I don't understand that. Like, of course I would. <clears throat> anyways, that anyways that relationship is over, so let's just let's just stop talking about it. You know, it was good while I made it to continuous lives in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. Jet, what are you talking about? No, I mean, never mind. You're stupid, Henry. <laughs> okay. So um, this is me trying to get away from that whole uh, conversation about Jake Gyllenhaal, and we're gonna go to song number nine called "This Is Me Trying." Wow. I like what you did there, Weston, where you yeah, like... good job. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So I'm kind of in there. I'm so smart, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so clever. Women should date me. That's <laughs> <laughs> so bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, this is me trying, yeah. Uh, this is a nice song. This is Weston trying to... This is, this is Weston trying... He's calling out to the females of the world right now. <laughs> he is trying. Yo, women of the world, I'm single. I'm single and ready to <laughs> mingle. Uh, anyway, anyway. <clears throat> the song. Yeah, the I'm back on that beat. Hello. Are you talking about, uh... You're uh, talking about... This is me trying? Yeah, this is me trying to get some action. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh um, maybe we can talk about the song. Yeah. I think this song. I think this song is about her trying. The song's about me. <laughs> um, what I wrote is 
She was very Wes, passionate. You should try shutting song. the fuck up. All right, you should try <laughs> shutting up, West Jet. Don't really went to West that he was. Like, <laughs> All right, uh, you know. Just a victim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, if it's not about, if it's not about me. No, 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 I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna try. I wanna try this one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think it's about she's trying to show how much she wants this person, but they don't recognize that, and they're like, kind of ignoring it. But you know what that car? You know what song that reminds me of? No, I don't even know if I'm wow. right. I'm just like I'm 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 oh being Taylor I'm being Taylor Swift theory. Oh my right god. Now. That was pretty close. So genius. Like about in general, like just trying in life. Like there's one lyric where she says she was so ahead of the curve, the curve became a sphere. She's basically talking about like academic validation. So you can uh, take it either way. But it's just about trying in life. Okay, well, tennis so center reminds me of a different song that's even better. Love me, love me, say that you love me. <laughs> I love love fool. That I love song their, reminds uh, you of I love their second most popular yeah. song. What? I love their second most popular song. Yeah. Who are we talking about? The Cardigan. Cardigans. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back to them. Um... Alright, I gave this song a decent... <laughs> I just looked at the second most popular song. <laughs> I give this song a decent seven. Um, I give this song a decent eight. <clears throat> yeah, I give this song a strong six. Yeah, yeah. I gave it a light nine. Valid, valid. Uh, those are four different numbers. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Six, seven, eight, nine. I bet the next song is about an affair. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, what? I'm a genius. Good job, Jet. Wait, Thank everybody you. clap for Jet. Um. Addy, it's your turn to clap. It's I don't think I don't think Jet deserves praise from Addy. <laughs> um. Let's play illicit affairs. <laughs> um. What did I write? this one um there were a lot of bigger <clears throat> sounds than usual on this one and i liked it a lot the um, production is really good on this one yes sir yes sir um and like usual the guitar was great there's a lot about that with this whole album but yeah yeah, yeah. i give the song a strong seven i gave it a 10. Woo! okay, okay. I give it a light eight. I gave oh. it a. Uh, I give it a. Uh, I give it a light eight. <laughs> okay. Brush copying me. I said light eight. What did you say, Weston? Light eight. Oh, you did. Oh. Yeah. I think that's the highest song you rated. Yeah. Because <laughs> everything's been like a seven or a six. Weston wow. does not light those up. Weston does not light. Like because he's boring. That's what you West, sound like. Weston just combats the argument with noises. Yeah, yeah it's his overused joke that he tells everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Construction really strong argument, Weston. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so funny for coming up with that. Yeah, good job. I mean, why did you get me to shut the window? Now my room's super hot. You told me to shut it. Huh? Because you walked in and said, oh, it's freezing in here. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, huh? Uh, yeah, you want to close? Oh, that's not what happened. I walked in and said, it's freezing in here. And then he goes, he said, yeah, I'm going to shut my window in a few seconds. And I walked out and they walked back in and asked questions. He was like, actually, can you shut the window for me? So I shut it for you. <laughs> get out your chair. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna you... get on my chair and shut it right now. Prove did... you wrong. Did you guys know that I um, helped produce "Speak Now" by Taylor Swift back in 2010? <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> wow, look at that! I did it. Weston, did you know that I helped produce "Speak Now" by Taylor Swift back in 2010? 
Really? Oh my yeah, god. Did you know that in 2010 you wouldn't be able to talk because you were three years old? Can you can you go back to that, please? <laughs> okay, I wasn't three. <laughs> Yeah, why you? Uh, I dated Taylor Swift. Okay, I was not three years old. Shut up. <laughs> Bro was a player at three years old. I wasn't three. <laughs> How old were you then? I, I was. How, I how was. Uh, <clears throat> he starts typing. <laughs> Start. Look, somehow old Jake Jones. Two thousand ten. I was thirty. <laughs> I, I, it just took me a while to remember. I was 30 Tanner, back in 2010. Guys, Tanner has uh, some uh, body dysmorphia. He has some issues. Okay, no. I'm just Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> You're <a> n- <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Uh, next song, Invisible String. Let me play. Where is this? Do you mean just string? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Now, obviously, Invisible String song title is meaning that it's like a s- invisible string that's tying people together. <laughs> I'm so smart. That sentence was so well put together. You know, I never really say sentences that are well put together, so... <laughs> The song is talking about <laughs> someone like in like your life that you didn't notice was like there, basically like in this sense. We're talking oh. about like you someone in your class that you didn't notice, and then like you just realize like, oh, this love my life. Yeah, that's what the song's about. That makes sense. So it's like a connection's always been there, but you just never like, you know. They became side characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yo, know, like me and Wesson. Wesson hated me until I played Portal 2. What? Remember that, Weston? You were like... I don't think that's what made us, like, actually friends, but... No, you were, you were like, I started playing Portal 2, you're like, you gotta go now. I don't remember Okay, that. maybe that's just a coincidence, but I don't think I actually started being friends with you because you played Portal 2. Yeah. So um... We're gonna get married, right? What? 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 Can we talk about the song now? Addy, please say something. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say what I wrote down because I was completely wrong. I don't know why I said that. Um, but I gave this song a decent 7. Invisible String. Like 7. I give it a strong 7. I gave it a strong 8. I think this song's better than the one. She, like, alternates this song and the one on the Eros tour. So I'd rather get this one than 7. Mm. She alternates between songs? The Mandela catalog? Okay. What did that have to do with anything? You said alternates. Wow, that's so funny, Jet. I know. Okay. I um, laughed so hard. Is that. Oh my god, did he just reference an analog horror series on YouTube? Oh my god, praise him. Thank you. I worked very, very hard. Mad Woman. Mad Woman, guys. It's time to Mad listen woman. to Mad Woman. It's a great one. Taylor said the F word! <laughs> what? Oh yeah, no, Taylor scared the shit out of me when I was listening to this song. Because we were listening together and he just said, Oh my god, she said fuck! I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me when I was listening to this song. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember when she said when she said the F word, I just screamed, Whoa! Check out so scared. Oh. Jesus fuck there, don't scream, damn. Um what did I put for this song? Um I put decent seven, I think somebody's a bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, the op- the song is kind of just like the opposite of like being angry. Well, I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Explain it. Okay, so basically, it's just about how, like, men will, like, gas you and... Oh, yeah, I will. No, 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 let me finish talking. Okay, <laughs> so basically, it's just how men will gas you into thinking all your reactions are just overreactions. And it's but saying, they like, are. No, stop. They're saying... That's the damn. Shut up. They're saying, like, you can be mad, but they'll just take your level of, like, anger as the same as, like, 
what they caused. I don't know how to describe this, but you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. And so this song is just about how she can't express her emotions with men because they try to mansplain everything, gaslight things. And when she does, they just say she's angrier than she actually is, and that makes her angrier. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Yeah. It's basically just saying men are arrogant and pro uh, provocative. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not that's very nice. Right? It's really misogynistic of you, but like, the, I'm, the male equivalent. I'm joking. Uh, um... Yeah, it was a good I song, believe I men it. and women should be equal. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, decent seven. Decent seven, though. Uh, after what I just found out, zero. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a decent eight, yeah. Strong seven. Uh, strong nine. Yeah. Uh, strong eight. It's my um, favorite on the album. Really? Okay, you need That's to calm favorite? down, okay? Wait, that's wait. You said that's your favorite. Yeah, Mad Woman. That's my favorite. But you gave it a strong eight. No, I gave it a strong nine. Okay, some songs I think are better than others. Like I think. Elizabeth oh, but Fair is but this than is Mad just Woman. your favorite. Yeah. Okay, that okay. makes sense. I see. Okay, you need to calm down. Okay, I want to start mansplaining. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> need to calm down. It's actually a Taylor Swift song. Oh my god! I'm gonna. <laughs> Jet is the person taste. Yo, you fell into that, Jet. You fell into that. <laughs> you were telling stuff in every, every song. <laughs> oh my I god. I probably could if you wanted me to. No. No. We, well, that's, we, don't. No, we don't have to do that. <laughs> um, Alright, Epiphany. Jenner asked him what Epiphany that. was because he doesn't know. Shut up. English I did language. not. Nope, he's lying. Because, he's lying. Because he's Hebrews lying. is first language. He's lying. 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 <laughs> I, I knew what an epiphany is the entire time. He's lying. No, you asked He's lying. me. I was like, He's lying. It's like an enlightenment. And then he goes, oh, so like God? I was like, no, it's <laughs> It's like, when do you have a huge realization of something? Whatever you go, Eureka. Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever the light bulb is above your head, that's what epiphany is. Yeah. Oh, that's a knee slap right there. Okay, let me play it. Um... So this song had me floating. Um, round and round. I write? Um, it was a. Oh, is this song about Normandy? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I know what Weston's talking about, but no. What did What did you mean, Normandy? <laughs> like what? Like, it 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 does seem but like that. Weston, you're right. I was. I was. It's relating the war with, um, like, the nurses during COVID and saying how, like, both, like, they both went through so much and how people lost so many things during those times. What the fuck? Weston, you're a genius. I am. Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if thought he had it? <laughs> God damn it. Turn it. Hit your mouth, cabinet. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, he was in it really, really hard when I was Yeah, that's to that's fight. nothing, Addy. That's nothing. <laughs> he started it's smashing this. it. There's this um the There's this like solid metal cabinet next to me and whenever <laughs> I like try I'm annoying people, I just hit it really hard and it makes a really loud noise. Like Can what you heard right, right now? Right what you, you heard right now was nothing. I'm not gonna do it right now. Cause no, it's do very it. loud. Really? You do serious? It. Yeah, no, do, yeah, it. do it. No balls. <laughs> my, my ears. Oh my god. <laughs> See, I don't have headphones on, so that really didn't do anything on my end. I told you. <laughs> okay. um, um, I gave Epiphany a light eight. <clears throat> light eight, light eight. Light eight, light eight. Yeah, I, I also have to give it a like eight, like eight. Okay, okay. Um, I'll give it a strong eight. I gave it a strong six. This is the only song Whoa. that was for me. Whoa. I like the bridge, and that's about it. Okay, okay. I like the song Under the Bridge. So. <gasps> oh my god! 
Oh my god! Sometimes I feel like no. Sometimes I feel like a new friend. Oh, that song. So I don't ever wanna feel. Alright. That song is a 10, bro. That song is a 10. Oh god, it is. But we're not ranking Red Hot Chili Peppers. We're doing this. Yeah. Uh, Great Taylor Swift. Next one is Betty. I'm Betty. assuming this Betty. is another one of the, you know. Actually, I know it is because. Addy, is a song about Betty? <laughs> it, no. It's no. about. Wait, wait. You say what you have to say first. It's about, like. I mean, this was the most. This was the song that had the most name drops, right? Yeah. The so, basically, sorry. No, 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 no you, go. Go. you go. You, you okay. go. I don't, I don't know. So you go. From James' perspective, like, and how he's trying to apologize to Betty, even though basically throughout the school- I knew it was about Betty! He's blaming it on August. <laughs> so, he never, like, actually said, I'm sorry. He was kind of saying, like, I'm sorry, but it's her fault. Um, and the song ends on the same cliffhanger that Cardigan does. Well, Cardigan does. And... Like, they basically, like, made up and got back together. And then, like, throughout the song, he, like, you know, talks about Betty wearing the cardigan. Mm. So, yeah. That's, that's my input. Also, the um, person Inez he mentions is Betty's... No. Yeah, yeah. Betty's friend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Who Inez? Is that Inez? Wait, what? Who's Betty's friend? Is that Inez? Yeah. Okay. Folklore album called Lord Goes Crazy. <laughs> For real. He goes crazy. Um, I can find the lyric, but there was a moment in this song when I and I told this to Jet that this was a love triangle. In this song, oh, it was like sleeping in my bed or some shit like that. And it was like, but I'm thinking about you. Yeah. Oh, yeah On that like lyric, that. I was like, okay, it's a love triangle. Cause she said yeah. something like, "I'm sleeping in bed with you, but I'm thinking about someone else." Yeah. Yeah. So one lyric, she says the F word again. No, nah, she she shouldn't cuss. Yeah, it's <laughs> not family friendly. Yeah, even though one of my favorite songs is uh, I'm not gonna say the song actually. It's not gonna say. Okay, cool. It's by it's by it's by a uh, certain band, uh, by in a certain album, and uh, I think Weston knows the song. It's by Nirvana. I actually didn't listen to what you were just saying, so like, can you repeat that? No. It's in a certain album by Nirvana called no. In Utero, and uh, the song. It has the word me at the end, but I'm not going to say the first word. Oh, hey, wait okay. a minute. You, you can't say that one. He yeah. couldn't sing it on MTV. You can't sing it here. You can't sing it on MTV. <laughs> yeah. Um, our video would probably get taken down. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't say um, that. That's a bad word. We can't review that album. <laughs> we can't review that album. Says. Probably not. Um, I gave Betty a strong seven, though. Ooh, where's going with the strong seven? Yeah, okay. Ooh, I I'm gonna go with a strong eight. I'm giving it a strong nine. This is my second favorite. W. Uh. Weston, what did you say? Oh, I said flat seven. Okay, okay. Um, Peace be with you. Peace. Weston, you're ugly. Okay, why did Jeff, you. You cannot say that. You look like you got hit by a car when you were born. You look like you hit your head on the way out. <laughs> Jet, what did you expect to happen? <laughs> you just randomly <laughs> call him ugly. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! He looks like Freddy from Di Who's that one guy? Uh, freaking Frankly from Diary of a Living Game. Oh my god, no way. I do not look like that. Alright, peace. Um. Um, what I wrote for this is it sounds like she wants to be at peace, but she hasn't reached that yet. And then in parentheses, I wrote, I don't know, I'm trying to guess the folklore. Get it? I'm so funny. You were a little <laughs> off there. I was off? Yeah, it's talking about... So basically, she was dating Joe Alwyn, and they broke up, which is really devastating, because they were together for six years, and everybody could thought she could get married. And if you listen to Champagne Problems and Evermore, you can kind of, like, get the gist of what happened. But anyways... Her that's what people think. But basically, this song is talking about how, like, 
Oh, she says, like, right here, but I'm a fire and I'll keep her brittle heart warm. She's saying, like, how they're polar opposites, kind of, and she has, like, a lot going on in her life, and he's kind of, like, low-key, and so she's saying that even though I can never, like, give you peace, um, like, will you still love me? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, that was, I remember that lyric. Yeah. yeah, that's what this song's about. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oh, I've been wrong about like everything. <laughs> um, I gave this song a decent seven. What song is it that we're doing again? I forgot. I got lost. <laughs> you got lost. Which one? What? Peace. I gave this one a strong six. Oh, peace. Okay, I give this a a strong eight. Okay. I gave it a strong eight. Wow, Jet copying again. What? I said it first. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's okay, Jet. I know we know we know you weren't copying. It's okay. <laughs> Are you crying, Jet? Yeah, cause he's a little bitch. <laughs> okay, you know what? Listen, I'm blocking you. Never talking to you again. God, thank God. Wow. Damn, listen. That's not nice. Wow. Um, hoax is the last song. That's a hoax. And I thought, honestly, I thought this song was like the most. I thought this song was the most emotional, in my opinion. Yeah, this song's a really good one. It used to be my favorite. Ooh. I brought um... some changes. Yeah, I, you said you said um you said my tears ricochet is the most emotional, right? Yeah. What about this one though? What about Oaks, this is really emotional. Yeah, really. I think it's really good, but I don't know. My tears ricochet. It's like I feel like um well, my tears ricochet is about like losing a friend, which I feel like can be worse than losing. <laughs> yeah. Like it like you romantically love, but I don't know. I feel like My Tears Ricochet is more relatable, and also, just everything about this song is amazing, so. Yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah, I really liked Hoax. It was a great ending to the album. Um, I gave it a strong seven. Very strong. I gave it a two. You said what? I gave you it gave... a two. What? What did you give it? Wait, wait, wait. No way. I said light seven. I I heard no I, what? No, 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 no. I heard I heard I heard I like to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say I like to. Oh. Okay, I give it a uh, strong decent eight. A decent eight. Change that is a joke. Come on, come on. Um, boom, boom. All right. Well, that is our ranking of every song off of folklore. So now we are going to go through each one of our least favorite songs and favorite songs. So we're going to start off with least favorite. Um, my least favorite was... My least favorite was... Okay, you don't have to copy me. Um... Someone's at the front door. <laughs> Someone's at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> our <Yo>. neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, can you like hit our neighbors or something? No, honestly, they just walk into our house sometimes. What? Like five years, okay, one of them is five years old. And one time I woke up and walked downstairs and he was just sitting in our living room. So. Dog, okay. W yeah, neighbors. Sometimes I, randomly, sometimes I randomly go into other people's houses. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you should just do that to them. Like, just show up at, like on their bed in like the master oh, yeah. bedroom. <laughs> just like show up like sleeping in their bed. See, I would do that, but then I'd get put on a list. Why aren't they on a list? Like, <laughs> they're five years old. Five. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think my least favorite. Uh, it's hard, but probably. I guess I'll say cardigan. What? Sorry, I just. I don't know. That's crazy. Maybe no, 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 no. Shock. no. Invisible, Destroy. invisible string. I'll say invisible string is my least favorite. That, that's I gotta, go with, I gotta go with the seven for my least favorite. 
Oh, seven? Okay. The yeah, Invisible so. String is my least favorite. Addy? Mine is Epiphany. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and now favorites. I think my favorite is between Exile and August, but I'm going to give it to August. My favorite isn't the best song on the album, but it's just like, I think this one's just the best to me. I think it's the last great American Dynasty rule with a long name. That's fair. Jet? My favorite is Mirror Ball. Valid. Yeah, mine's kind of the same deal like as Weston. It's not the best song on the album, but it's my favorite. And it's Mad Woman. Yeah. Uh, um... Cool. um yeah, so um, now we finish it off with our full rankings of this whole album. Yeah. Um, you know, I think my ex did a pretty good job here. It's pretty good music. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, uh, I'd probably give this a... Strong seven. I'm gonna say this album. Strong seven. Very, very strong seven. I'm gonna give this a light eight. Okay. I'm gonna give this a flat seven. I'm gonna okay. give it a sh well, mine's like a 9.5, but I know you're not doing that ranking, so I'll just say 10. Well, no, we are doing that ranking. Like a nine point, a 9.5 would be like a decent nine. Okay, never mind. I'll say, I'll say ten. You'll say ten. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what would so that? I'd say what light eight. Would that go up to a light, be a light eight. Yeah. You sure? Yes, jiggle bottom. Okay, don't call me a jiggle bottom. So I said. <laughs> Press one that jiggle bomb. <laughs> Bro got shocked and distraught by that jiggle bottom. You said decent seven, right, Weston? Yeah. Also the flats is, but okay, know, Jet's right. It is. It would be a light eight. Yeah. Um. Jet math. So our official rating. I use a calculator. <laughs> Jet math, dude. I used a calculator. You're so good at math, Jet. Oh my god. Oh, no. I used a calculator. He just did it in his head. He's so smart. Um. What? <laughs> calculator. <laughs> I mean, you like you mean the calculator in your brain, right? I failed algebra this year. <laughs> <laughs> He's being serious too. Um, <laughs> I'm being serious. Um, yeah. So our official ranking, our official Juke Podcast ranking, is a light eight for this album. I hope they put it. You know how like uh, the sides of the uh, movies have like oh the uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, for for albums, it's gonna have a. Jukebox rating now. Yeah. We have yeah, to make a website, bro, where it's just like all of our album rankings and stuff. Oh, we have to, don't, have doing... don't you have to like pay good? money or something to make a website? No. I thought you did. No. no. Oh well, we could. I don't know. If you just know how to do it, then well, you know how to do it. Yeah. Um. If you know, you know. You know what I mean, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was our album. Um. For next, well, I mean, I'm just going to say for next week's, but who knows if we're going to actually upload it next week. Yeah, mostly because um, of the lesson, but hey, whatever. Okay. Hey, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say that. No, say that. It's okay. That His mic is, say. it's okay. His mic is horrible. YouTube won't know what he said. Can't say that on the video. Um, So, for our next album, uh, the person who chose it is not currently here right now. So I will announce he it. He passed away. Okay, no, he didn't pass away. <laughs> <laughs> Bro just um, said he's no longer here with us. He's, not, he's no longer here with us anymore, sadly. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Um, Isaiah Seanborn chose our last album, our next album, and it will be oh, Twin Fantasy by Car Seat Headrest. He really wanted us to do that album, so Ooh. that will be next. Um, yeah, that's our next album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully Addy had a good time reviewing this album with us. Um, we'd love to have you on again for maybe another Taylor album or someone else. 
in the future. Yep, yep. So. Tyler Crater. No. <laughs> Addy, would you review Tyler Crater? No, but I review Phoebe Bridgers. Ooh, Phoebe Bridgers is good. We could do a Phoebe Bridgers record uh, in the future sometime. But yeah, this was our Folklore by Taylor Swift review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you Taylor like, Swift, next Taylor time. Slow. Okay, that's not nice. <laughs> see you in the next episode of Juke Podcast. And if you bust in, if you sneeze in this video, bust your face. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, guys. Say bye, Jet. Say bye, uh, Jet. Oh. Bye, home squad. Say bye, Jet. <laughs> Jet, say bye. <laughs> okay. Say it! Addy, say bye. Bye. Okay, Jet, say bye. Bye. There you go. Okay. <laughs>